Just got a damn phone call, excuse me, from my dad a little while ago. He lost his keys. He's out uh, on a job assignment right now and he can't find his car keys. Uh, so I'm going to where he parked it to see if he left his keys there. Or rather if he dropped them somewhere. Rated M for Mature. It's been a while since I've been out uh, riding at night. I mean, like, just actually riding at night time. I mean, yeah, I have logs and stuff that go up when I'm on my way to work in the morning and stuff, but this is nighttime. It is 7, what, 7.30 what? It's 7.34 right now. It's nighttime, so 7.34 p.m. When you, I'm so used to riding in the a.m. and stuff. This is... It feels weird and nice at the same time, you know? It's like, that's the best way to describe it, man. I guess if I had to find a way to describe the type of feeling this is for me, if it's just because I can't think of anything else, anything better whatsoever as a way of describing how weird this feels to me to be riding at night and not actually being on my way to work or anything, it's like, I mean, <sighs> This is a very weird analogy, man. This is gonna be extremely weird, but it's the best I can come up with. It's like, okay, I'm a guy, so it's like the first time I touched the pussy. It felt weird, yet nice at the same time, you know? I know that's a damn weird ass analogy, but goddamn it, that's the best I can fucking come up with right now, okay? Shit, don't fucking judge me. Just bite me. <laughs> goddamn, you gotta go that slow just to make a turn, lady? Damn. Fucking light change, god damn it. I need to fucking go. Got that Sonic X, man. Love that damn show when I was in school. Waking up early in the goddamn mornings on uh, Saturdays and stuff watching Sonic X. What? I used to play, bitch, let's go. I don't care if I miss any other goddamn show. Sonic X, I wanted to see that. And just to give y'all a little bit of background for me, um, 25. I graduated high school back in uh, 2010. I find it weird when some people say 010. It's like, really? The fuck 010? They just say 2010 or 2010. Don't say 010. It just sounds weird. Well, I graduated in 011, 012, 013, 014, 015, 016. Bitch, what? Just say 16. Fuck, if you can't say 20, 2011, 2012, or any of that other shit, man, just say, I graduated in 16, bro. I graduated in 010. That like, bitch, what? That one was 07, 08, 09. That was alright. That was cool. But 010, dude, it, I cringe whenever someone says that dumb shit. Graduated in 010. The fuck? Whatever, man. gate open. Yes. Alright, I'm at my dad's. Uh, what was it? One place he pulled out from. Is that the car? Yeah, that's the car. Keys. Put my visor so I can hear every team, every damn team, man. Don't you know? Plug me damn phone, turn on me damn flashlight, you know? Come on, it's gone. Doors locked. See the keys inside so far. See, so left him in the ignition. Yes, he did. What well, time to go to work, Santa? Let me check. All the doors are locked. Yeah, all the doors are locked. And the key is in the goddamn ignition. He's not going to be happy about that. Hello? Fat man. Yeah, the key is sitting right in the ignition. Yep. Yep, all four of them. Well, I tell you what, what I'll do is um, I'll go back to the house, grab a couple of wire hangers, and I like sit them under the car or something. All right, fam. 
so I just got off the phone with my dad. Um, <laughs> the goddamn car key is not only sitting in the damn car, but that bitch is in the goddamn ignition, and all of the doors are locked, man. So now, my mission now is to go back to the house, grab a, uh, he said he should have a Slim Jim sitting in the garage, so my objective is to go back to the house, find that Slim Jim if I can, as well as uh, maybe like two wire hangers, and bring those back and uh supposedly he's gonna try to see if he can like meet me at his job and i can hand them to him there or if he can't get away then worst case scenario what i'm gonna have to do is like leave him under sitting under the car or something for him so he can uh pick him up so he can, oh shit bro the phone gets up right there but yeah so he can uh pick him up try to get in the car and get his key at that point so we'll see how it goes Every damn door on the car was locked. When I saw the key sitting in the ignition, I was like, all right, cool, the key's sitting in there, then chances are that one, at least one of these doors open, right? Shit, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. No. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, you bitch, you suddenly slowing down. What the fuck? Chill. Fuck some booty, fuck you, big. Little boy, you can suck my dick. Look at some booty, what the fuck? Use your damn turn signal! Stupid fuck. Just pull his ass off to the goddamn side like that. Chill, you what? Oh, so you're gonna be carjacking, huh? No, I'm gonna, he's gonna meet me at the school. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Give me, uh. Can you go grab me a wire hanger or two? A wire hanger? Where? A hanger? A wire? Yes. Where? The closet. Where else? Well, I tell you. Recording. Oh, oh, recording. Yeah. Heading back to my dad's workplace. Yeah. Well, couldn't find the Slim Jim that was supposed to be in the garage somewhere. But what I was able to find, well, yeah, there was a a very large flathead screwdriver as well as uh two wire hangers so i'm gonna have to re-put it up re-put it down the car and it looks like i might need to get some gas but this soon hey boy hey real boy hey boy hey boy yeah i'm at 211 right now that's the current temperature on the back apparently hey i go right my damn bottom of the club bitch i'm hot look at that all right 229 come on now see if I don't want to tell y'all this damn thing is fucked up. The whole damn thing is fucker. How long does this damn turn light need to be on? I'm about to run this fucking light in a few seconds, bro. See? Buddy right here, I don't blame him. I don't blame you, bro. Look at this stupid son of a bitch! I got a story. <laughs> Plug my charger and stuff back in for us. Cut my phone down there, dick. Alright, my helmet's on cool. Alright, fam, so I get here. My dad's already waiting. Uh, that's him backing out right there. And in case it's not painfully obvious to you guys yet, my dad is a, uh, he drives the activity buses for uh, high schools and stuff. I'm not going to tell you what high school this is, but he drives the activity bus for a high school. So, I get here, thinking that uh, I'm going to be here waiting for him for a little bit, but no, I pull here, he already over here trying to find his way into the car. Uh, we was here for about 25, maybe 30 minutes before we finally got in, and man, well, I tell you, we on, on some next level shit. You know, typically when you get when you lock your keys in your car, you'll get a, a wire hanger or two, and uh, maybe something like a screwdriver or whatever to pry the uh, door open and stuff so you can get the hanger down in there. So, we had a long flathead screwdriver and two wire hangers. That's not everything we had, but that's what I'm gonna tell you about so far. So, in the beginning, we were fighting with it, uh, trying to go through the passenger door here, use the motherfucking uh, screwdriver to pry the bitch open, stick the wire hanger down in there. Now, needless to say, that shit didn't work. We were over there fighting with about 20 minutes, right? So, after a while, my dad like, you know what? I need, I need something long and metal to be able to just reach down in there and just push the damn button instead of trying to uh, 
lift it up with the hangers and stuff. So what he did was uh he had this old ass umbrella dude. Yes, son, we got into the car using a motherfucking umbrella. Holy fucking shit. Let me try to power Willie real quick. motherfucking story man so we get the guy down he gets the umbrella he completely breaks it apart all the shit that covers you covers and protects you from the rain and stuff he broke all that shit off all the uh, extra wiring and everything so get it down to the point where the umbrella is just a it's just a metal rod that's all the stuff the uh center rod and the rod in the middle those sports everything that's all the stuff so get that use the flathead screwdriver private door open enough to get that bitch down in there and after about two minutes of uh, trying to get in the right spot, get that bitch on there, give it a little push, push that goddamn unlock button, boom! Doors come right open. We're like, I'm like, oh hell to the motherfucking no, son. We just, <laughs> bro, you can, <laughs> you can try somebody to call with a fucking umbrella, bro. <laughs> oh, this shit got me rolling, son. How the fuck you break into the damn car with an umbrella, man. I'm not, you didn't, you not smashing windows or nothing, son. We're doing that shit discreetly. It's going to be able to, like, it's, you, we, used to, we used to fucking umbrella, like, almost like a fucking Slim Jim on the difference is instead of sliding between the glass and the door, we put that bitch directly inside, hit that bitch one good time, got that bitch open like that. Yo, this shit here, GNR. GN motherfucking R, son. But anyways, fam, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already one of my beautiful subscribers. And in the meantime, fam, this has been your boy, Psychotic Heart. And as for the usual, peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah! True! She don't know what's going on. Oh! Oh, I thought my light changed. Let me hit that damn brakes again. God damn it. Deuces! Listen! <laughs>